Gladys Cooper, a distinguished actress of classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry through a myriad of legendary works. For many, the question of which particular performance defined her illustrious career remains subjective, a testament to the breadth of her contributions. Whether it's the first encounter with her on-screen presence or a standout role etched in memory, each viewer holds a unique perspective on the cinematic journey shaped by Gladys Cooper. Reflecting on her vast repertoire, one may ponder the defining moment that captivated and resonated, solidifying her status as a luminary in the world of acting. It's an exploration into the cinematic landscape enriched by her talent, where each observer may unearth a personal favorite among the plethora of roles she brought to life. As we delve into the tapestry of Gladys Cooper's filmography, the question arises, what was the first work that introduced you to this iconic performer? Was it a timeless classic or a hidden gem that sparked a lasting admiration for her craft? Share your experiences and memories in the comments below and let the collective narrative of Gladys Cooper's impact unfold through the lens of diverse perspectives. What cherished memory or personal connection do you hold with this classic Hollywood actor? Your stories enrich the collective appreciation for Gladys Cooper's contributions to the silver screen. Share your thoughts and anecdotes and let the conversation about this cinematic luminary thrive. Gladys Cooper, a distinguished actress, marked her Hollywood debut at the age of 52 in the 1940 film Rebecca. Despite starting her Hollywood career later in life, she left an indelible mark with notable roles, including portraying Lawrence Olivier's sister in Rebecca and later his wife in That Hamilton Woman. Cooper's versatility in playing diverse characters showcased her acting prowess. A memorial service in remembrance of Gladys Cooper took place at St. Paul's Church, Covent Garden, on December 18, 1971. This event honored her legacy and contributions to the entertainment industry. While her Hollywood career commenced later than most, Cooper's impact was enduring, leaving an impression on audiences and earning her a place among esteemed actors of her time. Gladys Cooper's ability to seamlessly transition between roles demonstrated her skill and adaptability in the world of cinema. From playing a sibling in one film to becoming a spouse in another, her talent resonated with audiences and solidified her status as a respected actress. In conclusion, Gladys Cooper's Hollywood journey, starting with Rebecca at the age of 52, showcased her late but impactful entry into the film industry. Her memorable roles, including those alongside Lawrence Olivier, and the subsequent memorial service held in her honor attest to the lasting impression she made on both the big screen and the hearts of her audience. A remarkable actress, Gladys Cooper's legacy endures in the annals of cinema. Mother-in-law to the renowned actor Robert Morley, Gladys Cooper's familial connections extended into the heart of British cinema. Her influence, however, reached beyond family ties. Famed British novelist and poet Stevie Smith served as the secretary to Gladys' second husband, Sir Neville Pearson. This unique intersection of literary and cinematic figures adds depth to Cooper's legacy, showcasing the interconnected web of talent in mid-century British entertainment. The family dynamics and associations within this circle offer a nuanced perspective on Gladys Cooper's life, connecting her not only to the silver screen, but also to the broader cultural landscape of her time. The relationships she forged with Morley and Pearson reveal the intricate tapestry of the British entertainment scene, where talent and connection often overlapped. Gladys Cooper's impact on the entertainment industry extended far beyond the silver screen. Twice nominated for Broadway's Tony Award as Best Actress, she delivered captivating performances in Enid Bagnold's The Chalk Garden and A Passage to India. Her versatility in seamlessly transitioning between stage and film showcased a rare talent. Not only a distinguished actress, but Cooper also had familial ties that reached into the heart of British cinema. As the grandmother of renowned author critics entertainer Sheridan Morley, Annabel Morley, Wilton Morley, Emma Hardy, and Justine Hardy, her influence spanned generations. The interconnected web of talent within her family adds depth to Cooper's legacy, revealing a nuanced perspective on her life and the broader cultural landscape of mid-century British entertainment. Adding to her multifaceted life, Gladys Cooper penned her autobiography, Without Veils. This literary work offers a unique glimpse into the actress' personal and professional journey, providing readers with insights that go beyond the roles she portrayed on stage and screen. In conclusion, Gladys Cooper's enduring legacy is not confined to her Hollywood career, but extends to the stage and literature. 
Her Tony Award nominations, familial connections, and autobiographical account collectively paint a comprehensive picture of a remarkable woman who left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Gladys Cooper's cinematic journey extends beyond Hollywood, making waves not just on the silver screen, but also in Italian cinemas. In Italy, her notable films, including The Beloved My Fair Lady, were dubbed by acclaimed voices like Giovanna Scotto, Tina Latanzi, Rosetta Calavetta, Lola Breccini, and Wanda Tetney. This linguistic adaptation brought her performances to a wider international audience, showcasing the global impact of her work. Moreover, Cooper's cinematic legacy is cemented in the annals of American film history. Three of her iconic films, Rebecca, Now, Voyager, and My Fair Lady, have been honored by the Library of Congress in the National Film Registry. Recognized for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance, these films underscore Cooper's enduring impact on the evolution of cinema. Beyond the glitz of the entertainment industry, Cooper's familial ties further enrich her narrative. As the mother of actors Joan Buckmaster and John Buckmaster, her influence extends through generations, leaving an indelible mark on her family's artistic pursuits. In Italy and beyond, through cinematic accolades and family connections, Gladys Cooper's story unfolds as a tale of international resonance and lasting impact. From the dubbing studios of Italy to the prestigious National Film Registry, her contributions to film and family echo across borders, solidifying her status as a remarkable figure in the world of entertainment. Gladys Cooper's cinematic journey extended beyond Hollywood, leaving an international impact. Notably, she played key roles in two Best Picture Academy Award winners, Rebecca and My Fair Lady. However, her influence goes beyond accolades. Cooper appeared alongside Jennifer Jones in three films, The Song of Bernadette, Love Letters, and Madame Bovary. This collaboration showcased her versatility and enduring presence in the film industry. In addition to her film achievements, Cooper took on significant roles on television. Notably, she portrayed the mother of Professor Henry Higgins in a Hallmark Hall of Fame television version of Pygmalion and reprised the role in the movie adaptation of the musical My Fair Lady. This transition between mediums highlighted her adaptability and lasting impact on the entertainment landscape. Beyond the screen, Cooper's familial connections extended her legacy. As the mother of actors Joan Buckmaster and John Buckmaster, her influence resonates through generations, leaving an indelible mark on her family's artistic pursuits. From collaborating with Jennifer Jones to gracing the stage and screen, Gladys Cooper's story unfolds as a tale of international resonance and lasting impact, solidifying her status as a remarkable figure in the world of entertainment. As the curtain falls on our journey through the illustrious career of a timeless performer, let your thoughts dance in the lingering glow of Gladys Cooper's indelible artistry. Her performances, like echoes from the stage, resonate through the corridors of time, weaving tales that transcend the boundaries of mere storytelling. As we bid adieu to this enchanting exploration, take a moment to reflect on the personal tapestry woven by Gladys Craft and the fabric of your memories. Did her portrayal stir emotions that slept in the recesses of your soul? Or perhaps, did her nuanced expressions spark a kinship that resonates in the quiet corners of your cinephile heart? This is your moment, an open stage awaiting the whispers of your reflections. Share your cherished memories, your poignant encounters with the magic she conjured on screen. Let the symphony of shared experiences swell, creating a collective ode to a luminary who graced the silver screen with grace and poise. In this communal embrace of nostalgia, the spotlight now turns to you. Your thoughts, a vital note in the symphony of admiration for a thespian whose legacy continues to captivate hearts. So, pen down your musings and let them join the harmonious chorus of admirers, forming a mosaic of appreciation for a talent that transcends epochs. As we part ways, grateful for the moments spent immersed in the allure of Gladys Cooper's performances, we extend our heartfelt appreciation for your time and interest in this celebration of artistic brilliance. May her influence continue to ripple through the realms of entertainment, an eternal testament to the enduring power of a well-crafted performance. Reflect, reminisce, and celebrate the magic of Gladys Cooper. Until the next encore, thank you for being a part of this journey into the realms of cinematic splendor.